Hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm so excited. We're um, here today with um, Kirsty Alcaraz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what um, first got you into music industry? Ooh, that's a good question. First off, thank you so much, Rich, for having me. Way cool, and it's so cool that you do this to support all of us. Like, w like I just want to take a second to point out what's behind you because – all of those posters, everything, that's awesome, and that means so much to us. So what got me into music, I, I started music when I was two years old, believe it or not, and I was jumping up on picnic tables, singing songs, taking requests, and pointing and telling people to clap. I'd be like, clap. <laughs> and that's so it's kind of just music chose me, for, for real. It's just in, it's been in my skin, it's been in my blood, and I been doing plays and anywhere I could, any stage I could sing on ever since. Okay. Um, who would you like to um, corroborate with? Ooh, that is a really good question. I have always loved Dirk Bentley. I think the music that he does has such good meaning and it's always catchy and I, I just, I just love him. So that would be, that'd be really cool. And then, and then to be on tour with him. <laughs> Dirk Bentley is my answer, yeah. Okay. Uh, what is one message um, you would um, give to your um, fans? Ooh, um, I mean, first and foremost, I tell them all the time, but, like, I, I love you guys. I call them my thirsties. Uh, I was used to be in a band called Thirsty Jones, and thirsty is, like, you know, a drinking term, so they, they just became my thirsties, and it, and it helps that that rhymes with my name. Um, so I would just tell them I love them and I appreciate every single message they send my way because little messages like that can make my whole entire day for sure. It, and you wouldn't think so, but they mean a lot. Okay. I'm going to let you play your um, newest song that ain't been released yet. <sighs> yeah, I can do that now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, this is going to be actually, I'm spilling the beans. It's going to be a surprise release on the 18th, so that's next Friday. This is a love song off the record. Let me get it. This is another one off the record, Yes You Can, and uh, it's called What Love Does. <laughs> Yay, that's the new song. 
song. That's a great song. Have you, you haven't heard that one yet, right? No. But I will send it to you as soon as it comes out. So that song's called What Love Does. I wrote that with Donna De Sopo and Scott Barrier. Uh, why is it very important to learn, study, and understand the old music? I absolutely agree with that. It is really important. I think every person who wants to be a master at what they do, they say to take 10,000 hours to work on it. 10,000 hours is, is a lot. That's a, I think we did the math once. That's like three hours or more a day just working on your craft. And um, the music industry and being an artist nowadays means so much more than just playing music. So there are plenty of hours to fill um, things that you can master, including the social media and the networking. But with all that being said, the most important thing is your instruments and you being able to do music and present your music in your best possible way. And I think um, people who are, you know, even the Keith Urbans of the world and Carrie Underwoods, they still have trainers. They're still working you know, day in and day out to be their best. And that's what people look for. I mean, they're they're the leaders of country music right now. And um, I just think it's really important that they're, they're out there doing their best and um, showing people what the bar is. Okay. Um, I feel like I just gave like a, a super pageant answer. I was like, thank you, everybody. We can. <laughs> uh, what's your um, useless talent? My useless talent, got one, got one. I just had to think about that. I grew up at a dinner theater doing a, at a professional dinner theater as a kid. And we drank backstage, we drank a lot of kitty cocktails or Shirley Temples. And so we always had cherries in them and I would take the cherry stems and I can tie a cherry stem in a knot in a matter of seven seconds. <laughs> Yep, not even using a mirror and nothing. I can just be like, make some weird faces and get it done. <laughs> That's a funny question. Um, what instrument uh, would you like to play and why? Oh, I, I would love to be able to play the violin again. It's small easy to carry. <laughs> Those are the first reasons that came to mind. Um, I played, I actually got pretty into it and like, um, started in third grade up until sixth grade. And I just, that was a really, like I never once really complained about playing it or practicing. It wasn't nearly as, as hurtful on the fingers as the guitar is. And I also play the piano. So excluding the piano and the guitar, the violin, I would love to get back into that It'd be like fiddling it up <laughs> okay. uh, where can um, people go and see your um, videos music and events Ooh, I I use all a lot of them I mean the I, I would say go to music videos go to the YouTube page I just released a music video as you know thank you for the support on that and putting that on your page um, the silver music videos on YouTube Otherwise, seeing, seeing shows, you can either go on my Facebook page for events or bands in town or my website. My website can get you to hub to anything you need. Um, yeah, those places be the, be the best to hear music. And it's just my website, kirstiekraus.com. Okay. Um, what's um, next for you? That is a good question. I'm releasing a surprise release on the 18th, which I'm like, haven't posted anything about it yet and i'm just gonna be like here you guys go extra present and then um then we're releasing a song called thirsty right before the holidays and i'm really excited to release that song as well just because it means a lot to me um all of these songs are off the upcoming record that's coming out so we're just gonna continue to release music off that record and put out some music videos well thanks for um being on the show today, I really enjoyed meeting you and talking to you. Oh my gosh, me too, you bet. I I was looking forward to this, and I know we rescheduled to make it work, but I'm glad we finally got to 
chat in virtual person. <laughs> but it's good to see you and thank you so much for having me and thank you so much for your support.